All right, here's today's question. My clients take forever to sign up for my program. I go back and forth with them on text or email, or I follow up with them over the phone and they're not responding. They either take multiple weeks to sign up or they end up ghosting me. That is today's question for our show, and uh, let's get into it here in a second. Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right, there's multiple pieces to this question that I want to try to, to pull out here. Um, this trainer is talking about how, you know, when he's in a sales conversation with a potential client, um, they take forever, they aren't signing up immediately, um, and oftentimes they will ghost him or they just won't get back to him at all. And, you know, this is a tough thing for trainers because <clears throat> when you think you're talking to someone over the phone, in your mind, you're already thinking, well, I, I hope they sign up. And when you go to bed every night with the uncertainty about what they're going to do, then that feeling just remains. It, it stays the same night after night after night. And there's a couple of reasons why that happens. And I've been in this situation before early on in my business. I would talk to, to parents sometimes multiple weeks before they would end up joining my program. And oftentimes I felt like I was chasing clients. So what we have to do is make a couple of tweaks here. And here are the tweaks that I would recommend uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or if you are in uh, my paid mastermind group, uh, this is something I would recommend doing. First is you need to have better structure with your sales call, right? Towards the end of that call, you need to give leadership on what you want them to do next. And this is why when I talk to parents, I always say towards the end of the call, all right, here's what we're doing next. So I'm leading them towards what the next logical step is, right? And if we get off that phone and I hear the words, well, let me get back to you. Then I'll say, great, I'm gonna be free on this day at this time. Can I give you a call on this day at this time, right? So this way, if they do have to get back to me, I am taking charge saying, I will, great, I will call you on this scheduled time on this day. So this way, I'm not waiting for people to get back to me. I am going after them, meaning I am being proactive with this lead. I am not going to just let people come back to me whenever they want, because we all know when you wait for someone to get back to you, they, they will probably call you at the worst possible time. <laughs> right? And I, I talk about that often on this YouTube channel, like you need to uh, be proactive with clients and you need to be the one who's leading, which means if you have a call with them, you are calling them. You're not waiting for them to call you. Um, if you're trying to figure out when to set a time with them, you are scheduling that, right? But at the end of the call, we need to lead them towards what the next step is, right? That's the kind of the first thing is the structure of your call. And what happens even before you talk about your price, before you talk about your commitment? The next is how you actually have your call. I have been encouraging and, and recommending a lot of coaches to use Zoom to do all sales calls. And the reason, and I've talked about this in other videos, uh, the reason is because when you talk to someone face-to-face, -face, they take you more serious, they pay way more attention. And when you talk to someone on the phone, you could be dialed in, you could be so focused, but they could be like, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. And they, they're off in the corner, they're watching ESPN or, or their kids are fighting each other <laughs> in the other room and they're not even listening to you. They're just thinking about something else and their mind is on Pluto, right? So on a Zoom call, it's much more likely that you have more control of the environment, right? And if you have more control of the environment, then now two people are more focused, right? You, the salesperson and the parent, which is the prospect, uh, ultimately the client, right? So this is why doing it on Zoom, in my opinion, is going to be really good. Plus, if you record that call, 
you can go back and watch it and, and study how am I actually talking to these human beings? I, and you can start to critique yourself and say, man, I need to stop saying that. Or I need to stop clearing my voice when I talk about price. Or I need to stop uh, looking off the screen. I need to look at them, right? So these are little things that you'll be able to pick up when you do a Zoom call. Also, the parent, in my mind, will build more trust with you when they can see you, right? They can see you before they pay you. I think that's a, a very powerful thing, um, which is different than them just talking to you uh, and then paying you. Like I think them having that that eye to eye contact with you is a different level of trust that you can't get over the phone, right? So again, gotta change the structure of the call. Gotta change the delivery of the call. And the last thing that I would say is at the end of the call, it's good to give your prospects a timeline on when they need to decide to enroll, right? And this is not putting uh, a lot of pressure on them. This is just showing them, hey, Ms. Jones, if you guys can sign up by this Friday, this way I know what my schedule looks like next week, all right? It's showing them that you're busy, right? If you give people unlimited time to sign up, then there's no urgency, right? And you know, in this industry, like most people are gonna sign up, like they, they want to sign up, right? But life gets in the way, so they get distracted. And if they get distracted, well, guess what? Now you don't get paid, and now you can't help that client. So it's good to give urgency and to let them know, hey, we have a timeline. So if you can sign up by this date, great. Or if you can sign up by this date, you get a discount, right? And that is something that absolutely works in sales, but you have to be cool about it. You can't just be like, hey, you have 24 hours to sign up or I'll never talk to you again, <laughs> right? And a lot of coaches take this to the extreme, which means like they give people too much urgency, right? And I'm gonna create another video about that later on. Uh, but those are the three things, right? If people are ghosting you, it's, in my opinion, it's because you have not given them steps to take. It's because you are not leading them on the phone. And you know it's probably because you're not talking to them on Zoom either, right? So that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope this helps. And a couple, couple things here uh, that I wanna talk about before I go. So if you are not on my newsletter, all right, I send a newsletter probably three or four times a week to coaches and I give extra tips, uh, I give strategies, I show case studies of coaches that we're helping. Go to my website, just go up there, buildmysportsbiz.com, go to the bottom of the page, just put your name, your email there, you'll instantly get on my list. Um, we have over a thousand coaches there. I've been uh, doing that newsletter for the last uh, six years consistently. So that is a good spot for you to not only learn uh, copywriting, because uh, a lot of coaches end up copying a lot of the emails I'd send and they, they use those for promotions uh, with their own clients. Um, but that is a good way to get more information, get more help, all right? Uh, and then the other thing is shoot me a text at this number, all right? If you are not connected with me, um, you know, I don't know, like if you watch this, if you watch my videos, if you listen to my podcast and you have not connected with me, I don't know why you haven't yet, um, but that's my number. Send me a text there. Um, and what I do, and I, I'm committing to do this for the lifetime of this YouTube channel, uh, and I haven't really talked about this, but here's what it is. Uh, every single week I have certain time slots open to take on free coach, uh, free calls with coaches, all right? These are 10 to 15 minute calls, they're on Zoom, all right? I practice what I preach. These are not sales calls though. This is These are calls that are designed to help you gain more clarity, all right? And they're called clarity calls, all right? So if you send me a text there, I'll send you to a page where you can go through my calendar, pick a time uh, and chat with me. Again, those are 15 minute calls. I'm not doing like three hour consultations, <laughs> right? Uh, but that is something that I'm doing. Uh, I'll be talking about that a lot more coming up on my videos, but shoot me a text there. That's how you can get in touch with me. I don't use social media. So if you try to message me on Instagram or Facebook or uh, like Twitter, I, I don't do any of that, right? Only way to really reach me is by joining my newsletter or sending me a text here, all right? That's it for today's video. Hopefully all this helps and uh, hopefully this, this video helps you close more leads here in the future. All right, I'll catch you later.